Alright guys, so we are on site, it is Wednesday, I am training, and uh, we are doing a Queenslander. We've featured one of these before, so a little three bedroom um, Queenslander. So what does that mean? We This means we don't have open space living. This means we have more of a rabbit warren type floor plan. Um, we generally walk into a really big sunroom um, and then have our living, uh, our bedrooms at the front with the living towards the back of the property. That's just how it was always designed. We have VJ panelling, so we've got timber panelling. Um, and the best way for us to style these are with a really light colour palette. So you're not going to see contemporary finishes in here. You're not going to see modern finishes. You're not going to see chrome and black, any of those pieces. You might see some coastal um, or some cottage inspired feel, which when I say cottage inspired, I mean pinks and greens with some natives and birds, that type of thing. I haven't done the selections for this property. Emily has done the selection, so it'll be interesting to see how it comes together. I know that we have feel a little bit of blue as well as lots of naturals coming through. One of the biggest things we have with these properties, they're not a large footprint. So we need to make sure the pieces we bring in make the best out of everything, of the room sizes we have here. So the people who come through can see it's a really great size. So we are about halfway through, the truck's just left. Now, uh, one of the questions I get asked often is can, like, do you need us to be home? Do we need to stay on site? I just wanted to, to show you why we suggest that, well, we don't suggest, we ask that you head off. So if someone asks me, can they be here? My response is, oh, it's two things. It's workplace health and safety for our team to be on site, particularly while the truck is unloading. We do ask that you're not on the property. We ask that we're the only ones on site. The other component is there is an organized chaos that is happening while we're doing an installation. Now we know what the end product is going to be. If you're at the property and you're seeing individual pieces come through and you're not 100% sure what the end product is going to be and you start thinking and feeling like they're not pieces I'd have in my own home, seeing it collectively at the end is a really difficult thing for people to visualize. So then we start having conversations in the middle of the installation and it really slows everything down. So we ask that you head off for a coffee, get out to breakfast, and then you come back at the end and you see the end product just like your buy as well. So if you follow me through, you can see we're part way through. We haven't got accessories down. We don't have artwork up on the walls. We have bags everywhere, but we have started to place cushions. Beds are starting to be made. Um, but you can see that we very much, this is very much behind the scenes, take use of all the space we have. So you can see this bedroom on the right, we're using everything on the floor at the moment to get everything sorted. Bedroom on the left, the bed's made, so it's starting to go through. And then as we keep coming through, you can see we don't want to trip over you or trip over pieces. So this is how it comes together. We start arranging it, making sure we're happy. Do we need to get some extra pieces? Does the furniture fit the home well? Do I need to get a different setting out here? So there are all the things we're thinking about as everything's being pulled together. So having somebody on site who has to be our priority because you are our client, having those conversations can be very hard to get back onto the same track when we're doing the installation, thinking about all of those pieces that come together. In this property, we have so many brand new cushions. So it's strategizing which room works best with those new cushions and where do we place them without over-investing on behalf of the client. All the way through, blast up dining table. It's a no-brainer. You see them all the time. This one's gonna be very interesting at the end to do a walkthrough of. You can see it's very dark. We need to make this thoroughfare feel bright. So once we've got the mirror up, everything's styled, you'll see the difference. Can't wait to show you. So Emily and Mitch, they did go for a little adventure um, to go and purchase a TP from Adairs. Now it's one thing that um, we will have a conversation with a client to reassure them before we install. It's a lot of money to trust us that we're gonna produce a product if they don't know what the end product is. So I love to tell them that we won't leave the home unless we're proud of the end result. Um, and it won't, we won't leave unless it's perfect. Uh, now we could have left that um, corner in that room. It doesn't actually need a TP, but we're not proud of the job, nor is it perfect uh, with the idea of that being a children's room without the TP being there. So the team uh, went to Adairs. It is actually closer to the property than going back to the warehouse. And they went and uh, got one, they built it and they put it in sight um, and that way, uh, the little kids are tended to just as much as the big adult, adults walking through an open home. 